Valentine is coming. Where's your boyfriend? You are sitting at home. No need. Okay, let me stop mine. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the gang. It is your girl, Leslie Layla, and I am back with another one. You are a returning subscriber. Big up yourself always. I love you guys dearly. But if you're new, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when I drop a new video. And then also follow me on Instagram and TikTok because we are getting really lit on there, okay? All right, y'all, let's just, let's get into this chit chat. Mm, come talk to your girl. Valentine's Day is approaching us. And, you know, why not do like a little chit chat while I give you guys like a nice, cute beat, you know? I did right. Um... A list of things that I wanted to talk about, especially during this season of Valentine's Day. First of all, if I have not said this already, happy Black History Month, okay? Best month in the year outside of November. The girls who get it, get it. <laughs> There's just like but a few things I would like to talk about. Um, like I said earlier, first things first. In this like you know this love month season I feel like you know people are just really like really like pressed to find or to have like a boyfriend or to like be married and not saying these desires are like a bad thing it's not bad at all but it's like what's the intention okay it's the intention of you wanting to not be single on Valentine's Day. Now, don't get me wrong, ooh. Don't get that girl wrong. Me, I get, I get. It's, it, you want to be romanticized, which is well deserved. But is it like, are you trying to find validation in a relationship? Are you trying to, you know, compare yourself to somebody else? Are you trying to, like, what? What's the whole intention, right? I think in this Valentine's love month season we need to start with the most important love outside of loving God and that is learning how to love ourselves truly and boldly loving ourselves yeah we have to learn how to love ourselves and love ourselves fully and completely and love everything so here are some ways we can some ways we can like start learning how to appreciate ourselves and to understand that we are we are just some trailblazing amazing um unique very much needed um very much needed individuals like so my first point would be um we really need to stop comparing ourselves to other people like in the aspect of oh like who am I like why not me and it's like sis you don't really know what's going on in their household for real like for real you do not know what is going on in that house okay because let's let's keep it a band let's keep it a band although some people on this on these apps are literally being intentionally themselves. <laughs> Most of the people on here, they're not authentic. They're not like they're not living in their truth. Now, granted to the fact, you know, you wanna you can keep certain things in your household because as you should, but it's just like don't look at someone else's life and think that oh their life is better than yours. Because at the end of the day, y'all do not know what happens behind closed doors like y'all don't know y'all don't know what's what what's really tea like they could really be going through it or they could not be going through it you know or you know they probably stepped were able to step into these relationships because they were able to you know heal from their past traumas like are you healed yet let's work on healing ourselves before we try to jump into a 
relationship with another individual and listen listen you don't have to listen to me okay because me i'm still i'm still a single girl but i'm a single girl who has gone through a lot of things and had to really learn how to you know love my like love what i have like got to we got to stop comparing ourselves to other people and start thanking god for what he has done you know thanking god for what he has blessed us with like baby stop what you're doing breathe in breathe out that is something you can be thankful for for air for your lungs you know another point that i also wanted to bring up is that we also need to not hmm, i don't want to say not care but um not take everyone's opinion to heart now that's easier said than done okay now i'm not saying that you know you shouldn't take you know some people's opinions I'm just saying that make sure that you discern what opinions you want to take. Like, if it's like opinions, not even opinions, if it's like things that people, opinions of people that who want to like see good in you, you know, maybe those are the opinions that you want to take. But if it's really just someone who's being negative or someone whose opinion doesn't align with word of God then it's like mm, I hear you I receive what you're saying but um that's as far as that's gonna go if I'm not gonna lie to y'all when I like when I started to really get on my walk with God and I really started to like learn about who God is and learn about the way he loves me it made me it made me like love myself even more right it made me not really even give a dang about how people thought about the way I looked how the people thought about the way I talked how people like because you know at the end of the day we're not called to be liked by everybody like Jesus wasn't liked by everybody come on now like if he wasn't liked by everybody what makes you think you will be? You won't. And it's okay. It's okay. Cause we weren't called we weren't we weren't called to be liked by all. And that's perfectly fine. But you know, everyone's opinion is literally just that it's their opinion. Like that's that's how they feel. Be selective of whose opinions you let touch your heart. Because if it's not coming from a place of love, then that's like, that's how you know that that's something that you, you know, you probably just don't want to listen to. Or, you know, you just don't want to take, you want to take that with a grain of salt. Or if it's someone that, you know, if it's advice and it's sound advice, um, then yeah, maybe you would, maybe you do want to um, heed them out and, you know, apply what they're telling you. You know, that's my tidbit. So point two on loving yourself learn how to discern um opinions because not every opinion is the right opinion you want to you want to get the right opinion okay i know y'all hear me say it all the time but remind yourself of who you are remind yourself of who you are you are that girl you are that guy okay like <laughs> do they like it's like <laughs> do they know who you are do, do do they know who you are you are truly you know fearfully and wonderfully made i don't even know if i said that right but you are truly made in the image of god okay you are truly truly that girl that guy period don't let nobody else tell you different friend friend oh my friend oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah okay remind yourself of who you are like 
my name is blank I am that girl I am that guy you know just also always remember who you are you know y'all know I believe in Jesus Christ and I know that um, I'm his the one he left the 99 for to come catch Can somebody tell me that I'm not that girl you have to look inside yourself and know who you are and if you don't know who you are uh, take time take time sit down with yourself and you know figure out who you are like who what makes you you what makes you what makes you different what makes you that quote-unquote girl you can be big-headed like me like I'm just that girl cuz I'm that girl simple there's nothing I had to do there's nothing I had to do and nothing I had to say I'm just that girl simple you know simple I want y'all your assignment your homework this week before the next video comes out is to figure out you know figure out sit down with yourself and figure out you know what what are some things that I love about myself like what are some things that I see on myself and I'm like oh hey and let this video be a reminder like baby they ain't touching you they ain't seeing you and if they ain't seen the vision they don't need to be in your vicinity okay yeah like because you're what okay that's all i needed to hear that's all i needed to hear like just don't forget that that's like you are so you are so worthy you are truly worthy you are so worthy you're so you're so be gorgeous like beautiful handsome amazing so worthy you know so like don't forget that don't don't for, don't don't forget that don't i don't want you to like it's easy to forget oh my gosh it's so easy to forget that you are literally a prize you are literally the gem you are literally the trophy you are literally the the goal you are you are literally that girl i don't know how many times i have to say this like you are truly that girl Another point of how you can find love within yourself is to set your boundaries. Baby. Um, I went to, what did I do? I went to this like conference or whatever and this woman, she was speaking and she was just like, think of your boundaries as your house. Like there's some people that you're gonna keep outside in the gate. There's some people that you'll let in like past the porch on, on your porch. There's some people that you'll let in your living room. Some people you'll let in your bathroom and some people that you'll let in your bedroom. Set your boundaries. Know who, know who belongs outside with the dogs. Also know who you allow in your space, who you allow to take your mask off and really reveal yourself and show you know show like all your scars and be vulnerable a bit be vulnerable with but I need to know and you need to set those boundaries because just letting anyone cross your boundaries any anyhow you're setting yourself up because you'll allow someone who literally deserves to be in, in, in they don't even need to be up pulling up to your parking lot You'll let that person in your bedroom and what will they do? They'll put their feet on your bed. They'll, they'll, they'll sit on your bed with the outside clothes. They'll just come in, come and bash up your, your, your room. I hope you get the visuals. Like there's some people, there's some people that don't need to be all up in your business. There's some people that you don't need to open up to because they'll use that for evil. And that goes back into like sitting down with yourself and understanding that this is what I will allow. This is what I won't allow. This is what I like. This is what I don't like. You know, like you, you truly need to sit down and, and have these conversations with yourself and have these conversations with God too, especially if you're a believer. Like I, I, I can speak from experience. Setting boundaries, baby, saved me a lot of heartache. Saved me a lot of heartache. Um. So yeah, boo boo. Set them. Also, we need to make it a thing. Like I know it's always like everyone's New Year's resolution to like input self care, but don't let that thing go in January, please. 
please, please put self-care and you are literally the prize like I said in the last in the last few clips like you know you want to make sure that you look and feel like a prize like and how do you do that take care of yourself girl okay learn how to do your makeup learn how to I don't know <laughs> I'm like I don't know just you know go, go to the gym make make the gym a priority if that's the thing that you've been wanting to do um and have a healthy relationship with the gym. Have a healthy relationship with food. Learn how to cook. Take on a new hobby. Like, you know, you really want to take up this self-care. Like, it's just not a thing that you just put on your vision board. It's real. Like, it's really real. Prioritize self-care. Self-care can also be you reading your Bible. You know what I'm saying? Like, prioritize it. It's important. It, it's, all, it's so important to feel good internally. But then also like, like, oh, thank God you can't see that. Anyways, it's also good to feel good internally and externally. Okay? Like, oh, you got your hair done for this man? No. I got my hair done for myself. Oh, you going to the gym so you can get that summer body? No. I got that for myself. Why? Because we what? Learning how to love ourselves and find love within ourselves. Okay? Okay, you promise? Okay, also we, we need to learn how to forgive. We need to learn how to forgive, baby. Like, ooh, forgive. Like, when they talk about forgiveness in the Bible, they just, they don't, they, it's just not, oh yeah, forgive others, but baby, forgive yourselves, like, forgive yourself if you're blaming yourself for putting yourself in a certain situation forgive yourself god has already forgiven you so forgive yourself you know don't 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 sit here and beat yourself up because of something that has already passed like remember lot's wife like i love saying that forgive and let it go you know like god i bet you god not remembering it right now Okay, okay. <laughs> I bet you God is not remembering that joint right now, right now in this very moment, in this second. He's not. He's not remembering it. To save time for the video, because I don't. I don't want this to be a really long, drawn out video. I'm gonna do my eyes off camera, but I will be back um, when I'm getting ready to wrap up with, you know, my last few points. Um, I think the like last point that I would. I want to make and I want to make sure that I make it I should have made this the first point honestly but it just hit as the last point it's just to remind yourself of who's who you belong to <laughs> not your parents not your not your not your um significant other but God you were chosen you were chosen Okay. Like, what's the scripture? For God so loved the world that he gave up his only begotten son. Like, <laughs> take the world that take the world off and then add your name. For God so loved Leslie Layla that he gave his only son. Jesus died for you. Like and I, I know, I know, like, you probably heard it so many times from someone who's trying to bring you to faith and stuff. But this is just coming from your, your this is just coming from my heart. This is coming from your sister girl. God loves you. He loves you so much. He values you. He cherishes you. He sees you. Even on the days that be so ghetto. He sees you. He hears you. You know? And he loves you. He truly loves you. And I feel like that's like one of the most important things. If you don't get anything from this video, that's one of the most important things to know that God truly loves you. Okay? Um, but yeah, God truly loves you. 
Um, and if you haven't heard it from anybody, I love you. I love you. Okay. I truly do. I truly want to see you win. Okay. In life. I truly like, I truly want to see the best for you. I truly, you know, I truly want you to love yourself instead of being, you know, cause Look, I've been through that season too, like where I just was looking at everyone else and being like, oh my god, guy, like a Valentine is coming and where is my boyfriend? Like I I I truly get it, but honestly, honestly, loving yourself and learning how to love yourself is worth way more. It's so much better than having a man love you. Like, okay, you have a man, he can tell you, like, oh yeah, I love you, and blah 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 blah. But man, Learning how to love yourself and learning how to love yourself the way God loves you, it gets no better. It gets no better. Remind yourself of who you are. There's so many scriptures in the Bible where you can like see how God loves you. I mean, truly loves you. Okay? And just know you are so you are so deserving you are so deserving not saying that you don't deserve a relationship not saying that at all you're so deserving of that but my hope for you in this life is that you love yourself because what RuPaul say if you don't know how to love yourself how the hell are you gonna know how to love somebody else Hello. If you don't know how to love yourself, how the hell do you know what it feels like to receive love from somebody else? So, you know, let's 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 work on loving ourselves cuz we are what that girl, that guy for real. And let's just, you know, let's just let's just learn how to be kind to one another like you know, if someone looks good, let them let them know they look good. You know what I'm saying? Like, learn how to be kind to one another and learn how to be kind to ourselves. Okay? But yeah, guys, this is the final look. Y'all already know. This is like my regular schmeckler look. I'm really about to record another video. <laughs> but yeah, like, um, again, always so grateful for you guys coming on my channel, clicking on my page, watching my videos, hearing me chat my chats. It's always so appreciated. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you know when I drop a new video. And then also follow me on TikTok and Instagram. But yeah, guys, it is your girl, Leslie Layla, or the real Leslie Layla, checking out. Bye! Mwah!